Hello everyone. This is going to be a very short video answering the question about the difference between point slope form and slope intercept form of a line. So we have a question. Right in point slope form, the equation of the line that passes through the given point has a given slope. Then rewrite the equation in slope intercept form. A lot of vocabulary and sometimes you don't understand it, right? Well, hopefully this video helps you out. You have one point, which is given right here. This is your point. And this is the slope. So the first thing that you are going to do is to label. Kind of like what you do for slope with x1, y1, and x2, y2. Well, you only have one point now, so I'm going to label this x1. And I'm going to label this y1. Remember, every time you have coordinates, the x comes first, the x-coordinate, comma, y. So this is my x1, we have negative 1, and negative 4 is my y1. So you need to know the point-slope formula. And the point-slope formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And you use this formula for when you have a point that's given and the slope. So we do. We have a point and the slope. So you're using it for when you have point and the slope given the y-intercept is not given. So now I'm just going to substitute y minus y1, which is negative 4, equals the slope times x minus a negative x1 is negative 1. And just as a reminder, the back to back, the minus negative, minus a negative, turns into a positive, both positives. So I keep change, change from, you know, when you were younger. So I'm going to change the double negative, I call it double negative, into positives. Keep change, change. And same thing over here. So the point slope form is y plus 4 equals 2 times x plus 1. And that is point slope form. But we just did half of the question. We have point slope form. Now we have to convert that into slope intercept form. So what is slope intercept form? Just what it says. It's used for when you have a slope and a y-intercept provided, right? And you didn't have a slope and a y-intercept provided here. You only had a point and the slope. So I'm going to rewrite this point-slope form that I have, and I'm going to convert that into slope-intercept form. So, the first thing you do, anytime you solve an equation with parentheses, is to distribute. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to bring down the y plus 4 equals 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1 is 2. So, to solve for y, because remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, solve for y use inverse operations, subtract 4 on both sides. This cancels, and you have y equals 2x, and then four, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. This is slope-intercept form. It has a slope in it, which is the number before x, the coefficient, and the other number is that y-intercept. So point-slope form is used when there's a point and a slope given, and the y-intercept is not there. So you have to use the point-slope formula. Slope-intercept form is taking that point-slope formula and converting it, converting it 
to slope intercept form by solving for y. Now, if they give you the slope and the y intercept right off the bat, you don't even have to use point slope form. You just convert it into slope intercept form. And that's the difference between point slope form and slope intercept form of a line. Thank you for watching.